Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Dragon Force for the Sega Saturn. So in the last episode we talked about the game a little bit in general and uh, looked through some of the intro stuff as well as talked about this screen here in depth a bit. Uh, but to recap, we are gone ghosts and uh, we are going to whoop everyone's ass into shape to unite the land against uh, Fandaria, etc, etc, and the forest is nervous. <laughs> I guess that's the gist of it. Let's go ahead and uh, be done with this screen and uh, get going here. Okay, week one. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, deploy some generals here. We've got a few things that we need to worry about initially here. But uh, we're going to send out Gongos here. We're going to send Rag uh, Ragar. Ragar. We're going to send Cat. We're going to send Uni. We're going to leave Bagib here. Um, if you abandon your castles, I don't know if they lose levels. Um, but they don't have... I don't think they replenish troops when you do that. Uh, and we don't want anybody to sneak in and take our capital anyway. So we're going to go over to this castle here. Uh, which... I guess I don't really need to pause it. Um, has uh, sort of like uh, our starting uh, enemy force here, I guess. We're going to try and defeat these guys. We've got this Joker up here, who we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see some of later, I expect. Uh, then we have this castle. This is a little bit of a concern. I did play through like one week just to decide how I want to get started. Because um, I uh, have heard that this is a somewhat challenging start uh, so yeah sometimes these guys like to sneak a general out you need to be careful of that then up here we've got a Zumo over here we've got Tradnor and then way over here we've got Highland we don't need to worry about any of them just yet oh and down here we've got the Forest Shrine that'll become relevant at a later date ah yeah where are you going uh no 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 but where are you going yeah there we go okay so he's he's going up there uh I'm gonna try something. Uh, I don't know if this will work or not. I'm gonna send you. And uh, yeah, I am abandon ba abandoning the castle, the capital, which is you can do. I don't, and I don't think there's any penalty for losing your capital. I'm gonna send him up there after that guy. We'll see what happens. Aha! At last we meet, Gongos. Gunner, you're alive. I came to take my revenge on you because I was exiled by your father. You rebelled against us. It was right to exile you. You should have been executed. My father spared your hide. You have my father to thank for your life, ungrateful one. Shut up. Because of your soft ways, we are falling far behind the elf and human tribes. I think about the future of Bozak, of the Beastmen. That is why I was exiled. Oh, Gunner, you are still stupid. I like Gongos. <laughs> I really do. You still don't know why your rebellion failed, do you? What do you mean? No one wants to follow you. You're too ugly and stupid. <laughs> it is the same now as five years ago, yeah. <laughs> Warriors will follow a leader who is strong. I don't force them to, and besides that, I am a descendant of the Beast King Leviathan. Ooh. That makes me the only one suitable to be king today. <laughs> and Gongos is amused. No one will believe such a fairy tale. Gongos, you must die to make room for the new king. New king? Oh, you're killing me. Uh, I will calm that fevered brain of yours, yes. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, so everybody's kind of got... Uh, everybody's got their sort of like initial little taunts here. I'm not going to read everything in the game, just the uh, the story stuff. Uh, and, you know, those sort of cutscene uh, interactions. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and attack. So yeah, everybody has kind of like this, this story army that they deal with early on in the game, uh, and this is the one for Bozak. 
If we want to, we can look at the, our generals as well as their generals. Uh, there's not really any reason to do that in this case. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, who are we going to send, though? So cavalry, or I think we're actually weak against beastmen. So... Uh, I'm going to send out... I think I'm going to send Rygar on this one. We'll see how this goes. Uh, oops, oh, I'm still in, in info mode, my mistake. <laughs> there we go. There we go, okay. Yeah, I guess I'm going to send Rygar on this one. I'm a little nervous about sending Uni out with only 10 troops at her disposal. But, uh... Yeah, we'll see. We'll, I don't know, we'll just see how that goes with her. I didn't want to leave her alone at the castle because I don't know if she can take on Gunther if, uh, for example, he happened to come down to Bozak. Alright, so now we have battle mode, which is uh, where the real fun begins. Uh, let's see, Rhaegar has a few different formations here. I'm actually going to put him in squad formation um, because you can see there each... Uh, sort of thing has its own layout, but also every character has a special formation that they can do, and uh, in this case it's going to give us stronger attacks on our soldiers, and then we have different orders we can give depending on the formation sometimes as well. This is just going to make our guys hold fast, and it's also going to make it so uh, if this guy attacks my troops uh, with a uh, sonic boom, it's going to go right through the middle there. Also, I'm leaving my guys in defensive mode here because there's a little bit of an advantage that you get, as you can see, when you uh, are just holding still. I'm actually going to uh, send down these guys as well. Actually, you know, let's send everybody. I think I think we've uh, taken care of all of his troops. Um, and then we're gonna cross flash him. So we got some some spells that we can use here. There are shortcuts for some of these menus, which I'm not using, just out of habit more than anything else. Um, but yeah, the uh, yeah, that's oh, he has cross flash, or she does rather. Forgot about that, so I didn't, don't even have to worry about Sonic Boom, which uh, will cut down our troops. Which means I can actually let's go ahead and melee. All right, so now uh, at this point, she's got no troops left. She's probably gonna run away. But uh, I'm going to see if I can get her low enough to hopefully capture here. Oh, didn't quite push the button in time. I was right about to do another cross flash. Well, let's see. We might still capture her. Nope, not quite. Sometimes when generals run away and are low, I believe you can capture them, if I remember correctly. Otherwise, you have to actually, like, defeat them. All right, so she has 20 beasts. I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm going to deploy... I could send Cat. I could just send you again. Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's weaken, weaken her a little bit with Rygar. Basically, I'm looking to just soften up her troops and have her maybe spend a little bit of that um, that magic on me. And uh, we'll just stay in defense mode. Now, uh, Beastmen all have pretty much the same skills, with a few exceptions. Uh, so, she's going to have the same skills we do right now. And there it goes. All right. So let's see how many of these guys we can take out here. Not bad, not bad. Good. Let's go into melee mode. And that'll be all of our troops. I guess I can hold up for a sec here. That's not going to matter. She's either going to run away or uh, we're going to run out of troops anyway. So I might as well just use this. We're a bit higher level than she is, so we do a little bit more damage with our attacks, I believe. And or have more HP, just in general. She's actually... 
defending against a lot of our attacks here, which is a little unfortunate. There's the second cross flash. Okay. So I'm not going to duel her. We could, but it's risky, and I don't want anybody to get injured quite so early on when I really need all my generals to be in the field. Ooh, but it is so tempting. But I'm going to retreat. Which means that Rygar is now out of the fight uh, because he uh, he's run away. Or if you tie, I believe you, uh, you're out of the fight as well. Uh, okay, so now what we can do, now we'll, we'll come in hot and we'll send Uni after her, who should be able to take her out, or at the very least get her to run, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sort of with Silva on this one, I would I would be <laughs> ashamed to be defeated by this, uh, this character as well. But, uh, what are you gonna do? Unfortunately, she doesn't keep her boxing gloves in, uh... In battle mode, she just has the standard sprite. Alright, surround formation gives us more defensive strength. I don't think that matters. Let's go ahead and we'll fight. I'm going to see if we can... Usually they won't run immediately, so I'm going to see if I can get in one hit with a, a soldier, and then I'm going to try a cross flash and hope that that does the job. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth, is she strong enough? Oh, so close! Oh, but she stuck around anyway. All right. Well, there you go. We've uh, defeated our first general. 100% defeated. And uh, we have captured her, which is quite good. All right, now we have Norse. Now, Uni could probably take on Norse. However, I have a better idea. We're going to send Cat instead on this one. There's a reason that you want to use more generals uh, than you would otherwise necessarily have to, which is uh, essentially by, uh, by winning fights, you get awards, which allow you to get more max troops for your generals. Uh, and some generals uh, sort of get pissy when you don't let them fight. <laughs> so... No, no, nobody in our in our starting force here, but other people we may find eventually. Uh, we're just going to leave her in special formation. Ra There's no reason to be in raid formation with mages. Mages kind of suck in my opinion, but we do have one thing we can do. Just put put her guys right there, and actually you can see Cat has her own special uh, sprite. I think she's the only beast man that looks like that. But yeah, our mages are just chewing up his forces, and there you go. Let's go ahead and uh, disperse. And uh, we'll hold up for a sec here. There we go. The reason I want to disperse is because he does have Sonic Boom, I'm pretty sure. So we'll go ahead and advance now. And what do you have? Flame Cannon. Sure. So Cat, even though she kind of looks like the other Beastmen, she has a really low strength. And uh, she's a technically a spirit user, I think. And there's the Sonic Boom. One of the cooler skills in the game. Hits troops and uh, the enemy champion. The reason I want to send up my mages like this, even though they can shoot them from across the field, is uh, you can kind of cheese things a little bit by doing this. And so now he's stuck, because unfortunately you can't move your general or anything. And he's going to eat fireballs all day until either the time <laughs> runs out, or he runs away, or he dies. So, usually the generals, yeah, will run away at this point. Because they know they're getting cheesed. Okay. Well, we've got one guy left here, and that is Gunner. I'm, uh... Moderately confident that Gongos can take care of this himself. So I'm just gonna send him out. After all, the guy wanted a shot at the king, so to speak. Sometimes characters will have uh, interesting things to say to each other as well in those little taunts. Uh, not this time, I guess. Uh, let's see. I don't know if there's any reason really to go in breach formation, but I guess I will. 
Uh, let's not actually. Let's just let's just go and just go in special formation. We'll stand by. He's gonna attack us because he's on offensive formation. So that's all well and good. And yeah, I mean we could advance our troops to meet them, but then we just risk more of our guys dying. And I may do it just to keep things interesting because it might get a little boring just <laughs> watching. Uh, our guys stand still while enemies come at us, but... Mainly, I actually don't know if this does anything as far as our troops' stats go. And here comes Gongos. He's gonna, he's gonna hit a lot harder than Gunner is. Oh yeah. Quite a lot harder. Um, yeah, I don't know if Melee really does anything as far as our troop stats. It just kind of has them automatically track down enemy troops, essentially. They follow them and try to kill them. Oh wow, he ran already. Was not expecting that. Ah, why can't I ever win? Why? <laughs> you want to know why? Because I am the gallant man of the forest, that's why. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so we won a smashing victory. We captured Gunner. We captured Silva. Okay, so, there is one trick that we can do here. So we captured this castle, what we can do is uh, go to the castle. I'm probably not gonna, well, I don't know, I'll abuse this if I have to, but uh... Let's come in here, we're gonna go ahead and deploy you, and uh, we'll send... Uh, cat, eh, let's not send Cat, we'll, we'll just send uh, Gongos and Uni, that should be enough. And uh, I'll let Cat lead this place. It doesn't really matter who the leader is, I don't think. Uh, we will not take essential captives. And we're going to send our guys up this way. Now, by pausing the game, my army comes out instantaneously. And attacks this army again, before they can get away. Because when an army loses, they get a little speed boost for a bit to run away from you. And it goes for your armies as well. However, I really want to capture these guys before uh, they get away because it's going to be a pain in the ass to, to track them down. I, Bagib maybe could have gotten them. Uh, and yeah, sometimes generals will say, hey, I'm going to go fight. And you can either let them go or not. However, if you don't let them go, they are out of the fight. They count as having retreated. So there's really no reason to not let someone go, even if it's a bad idea. Uh, and it doesn't happen very often anyway, typically. So yeah, as you can see, these guys don't have any of their magic points, none of their hit points. Our guys, on the other hand, have uh, probably healed very slightly and they have all of their magic points back. Uh, which is what happens when you, um... Oh god, I've got like nobody left in here. Uh, just melee. Um... Yeah, so uh, that's, uh, that's what happens when you enter a castle. You get your some of your stuff back, particularly your magic points, which is what really matters here. Uh, let's let him take a couple hits here, and I'm going to try and cross-flash him one more. Perfect. This should get him, I think. He's not very high level. Ooh, so close. Still might get him. Yeah, he stuck around. Alright, so there's her. Uh, let's go ahead and let Gongos do this. Just because uh, we do want him to be as high level as we can get him. Because uh, he is the most important person in our army. In fact, if you... Uh, or defeated, or if he is defeated, I guess I should say. Uh, that's that's the game over screen right there. That's how you lose. So, <laughs> definitely don't want that to happen. He might be able to even one-shot her with, uh, with one cross flash. And uh, it looks like maybe we didn't really heal. We were, we were barely in the castle for like a second, so... Um, 
Let's give it a try, why not? Ooh, yeah, I thought we might be a sliver off. That's okay. So the reason that we really want to capture these people is because... This is completely anecdotal based on what I think my memory is. Um, sometimes it can be difficult to recruit the uh, the enemy story uh, generals after sort of their story event has happened. Uh, if that makes any sense, they'll be like, we're, we're going to have a little chat with Gunner, essentially, in a, in a bit uh, at the end of the week. And if we don't have these generals in the army, then they may or may not ever join us. Which is something sort of um, specific to... Um, sort of specific to... Uh, the story enemies, I think. Again, completely anecdotal. Uh, I'm not going to take any captives. I'm going to try to get Cat back here. Yeah, we should have enough time. Uh, just because I want somebody in that castle, and also I want her to be able to search there, because it might be better than searching over in this other one. I don't know if the castle's level matters. Different castles uh, have different stuff you can find that's sort of tied to the region, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try and fight this guy here with Bagib. See if we can capture him as well. Uh, we can we can also talk to people, uh, and I forget exactly what this does. I don't know um, if enemies will back down or not. But the catch is that the general that goes to talk loses all their troops. So I'm just going to go ahead and attack him. And this way we'll have uh, awards from all of our generals. Everybody will have gotten to fight. Everybody will have gotten some XP. To, uh, to help him level up a bit. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about Bagup's chances here. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll tell you what, we'll just go... Uh, let's go, we'll go in breach formation. And uh, just advance our army. For once. Get him, boys. Excellent, nice work. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cross flash before he gets the sonic boom here. Just so he doesn't blow up too many of my troops. All right, how are we doing over here? Not bad. We did have a pretty significant troop advantage anyway. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. And then we'll go into melee mode. And we might even have this guy. Need him to take one more hit, I think. So we might not get to capture this guy. He might not even... Maybe he doesn't have Sonic Boom. Some uh, some soldiers start with no abilities or uh, get, get him at different ranks, levels. Well, might as well use this now. Oh, we did get him. Nice. I'm kind of thinking he would have run away from a duel, at least that would have been wise, although they don't always. Um, so, you never know. Alright, so he's been captured, he's out of my hair for now, and that's one general in the uh, the army over to the east. Uh, less that we have to deal with if we uh, eventually make it over there. And yeah, when you win, your guys... Uh, <laughs> there goes the little angel. Um, yeah, when you win... Where are you going? That doesn't look right. Yeah, sometimes they'll get this little thing over their head too. I don't want. Hang on. What are you? What are you looking at here? Hmm. That's too many. Too many for Bagib. I'm gonna get him out of here. While he uh, still. Actually, hang on. Let's uh, recruit first. Probably get a couple troops. There we go. Should recruit for my other generals as well. There we go. Let's abandon. And uh, we're going to send him down that way. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't want to lose him to that army. That would be uh, kind of pointless. And we lose Gunther, too. 
Oh, well, they turned around. Not quite what, is I, what I was expecting to see. It looks like they might be sending another army down, uh, down this way as well. Now, there is one pro- Oh, they're going down there. Interesting. There is one problem, and that is that samurai are actually good against beasts, I think, as far as troop types are concerned. Uh, so that's something we're going to have to uh, be cautious of. Although, they might meet that Tradnor army that's coming down as well. Okay, so as I mentioned, uh, we, we got a little story event here because we captured Gunner. Uh, Lord Gongos, what are you thinking to do with Gunner? Death by fire if we follow the ancient law. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Gongos is a modern king. Excellent. We will have interpersonal captor captor <laughs> captor captive communication. I thought so. That's why I brought him in. How did I lose against such an imbecile? Silence, bedraggled swine. You are still alive because of the mercy of Lord Gongos. Damn it, I should have been the King of Bozak. Too small, Gunner, you think? Too small. King of Bozak, your goal is too small. This is a big, big land. You can have any place you want. How about from now on, you go around the land with me? What do you mean? Right now, Gunner, Fandaria makes war with everybody. Only way I can win is to go take over the other kingdoms. Then together, we can attack Big Fandaria in his face. Ha! <laughs> After that, if you want, I'll give to you the Fandarian Empire at least. So generous. You tease me. Sure, sure, I'm sure. Very serious, very sure. <laughs> oh, you're a man who says extraordinary things, and I lost to you. I guess I had a small dream compared to yours. I should go with you to see what there is to take. What are you going to do, Riker? I have no complaints as long as I get paid. I'm coming with Gunner 2 and count me in. So this is why you want to have all these guys captured. I might have been, been able to just get him with Gunner, um, but it was easier just to use that little trick to make sure they didn't get away this time. All right. Ah, well, you where did you go? Who is this Yug? He is the magic warrior who helped me. That bum? Did he run away? Yes, he did, I think. I'm gonna nail his head to a tree when I find him. So there you go. A little bit of story early on here. There's not, there, there's, I don't know, a bit of story, I guess, like story events like that through the game, but probably aren't gonna be seeing those every episode. Now, uh, I don't know how the public support, uh, Awards go, I, f I forget what you get those for. It might be for taking castles, or it might be for something else. I'm not sure. But uh, we've got one left. We don't have to give it away, but I will. I'm going to give it to Gongos here. So that... Uh, so that he can get some more troops. We want to be careful about leveling up his troops, though, because I think the enemy, enemy leaders will sort of mirror you as far as their troop strength. And then these are the merits for all our officers who uh, fought and won a battle. You don't get uh, don't get any merits for losing, although there's really no punishment other than you know the punishment for losing and possibly getting injured or captured. Uh, but I think you may only get one award per session per general or like per week per general, no matter how many battles they win. Uh, that may or may not be true. I guess we'll find out. Uh, but you can see on the left there, we've done eight battles. We won seven, lost one. That's when I had uh, somebody run away. Cat, maybe. Or maybe it was Rygar. I can't remember. Uh, so, yeah. So, did she uh, did she make it over to uh, Bozak? Yes, she did. Find me somebody. Aha! Gillette. Oh. Hey, not bad. We just got ourselves a new general. He's not probably very good. And he's, uh, there's like, uh, I want to say like a hundred, somewhere between one and 200 generic generals in this game, maybe. And, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's a thief type leader, I believe. <laughs> I'm Gillette, take me to your leader. 
Well, you're talking to him. Excellent. That's really good. Yeah, one downside is the beastmen are not very smart, and you need, and you need like a 70 in to search. So, we're not going to have very many searchers early on here. But as you can see, now we've got quite the uh, the army. We've got Bagiv, we've got Gillette. You can take a look at him. So he wants to fight, I think is what he's saying there. Um, generals do have loyalty, and generals like this guy can desert you, I believe, over time if they uh, don't get what they want or get their loyalty boosted in other, uh, other ways. But we have so few generals right now that we are going to need to fight with him, probably. And what does he have? He has uh, Shiva's Dagger, yeah. I think that bas basically just prevents enemies from casting spells for a little bit. And then, of course, we've got our, our newly recruited other guys from the story here. we got Gunner. And uh, Rygar, uh, or not Rygar, um, Riker, Silva, and uh, Norse here. Which is good, because Riker has Cav, and uh, Norse has regular soldiers, so we get a little bit more variety in our unit types, which will be good. Then we also captured Gunther here. I doubt he'll join us, but we can ask. Oh, he did join. Well, this is excellent. <laughs> this is a good start, I guess. So, yeah. All right, we've got him. Uh, that's going to make our life a lot easier moving forward here, I think. Last uh, little bit of business is uh, awards for uh, generals. Generally speaking, you want to give awards to people who fought in battle, because I think if they don't get one, if the person who earned, the, earned a merit doesn't get a merit, they uh, lose some loyalty. But we don't have to worry about that with our main generals here, I don't think. So I'm going to give um, give her an award, because I really want everybody to have at least 20 uh, troops. Uh... Yeah, you are going to need one. And this should increase his loyalty as well, to some extent. Uh, you are going to need one. And last but not least, I think... Uh... Actually, no, I think... Is that everybody? Wait, did, I get... did I give Norse one? No, here we go. And uh, I'll probably just hang on to uh, the other one. And no, I won't. I'm just going to use it now. Uh, I think Gagos has enough troops for now. Let's get Gunner. Where's, where's Gunner? There he is. We'll give Gunner an award here. Okay. And there you go. So that's all of our management and everything for... Uh, for this week. I don't know exactly how long these episodes are typically going to be. We might have to split weeks up as the, the game goes on. So things don't take too long. And I will probably cut out some of this management in the future. Uh, and just summarize it. But I wanted to do it for the, for the first episode here. Uh, but yeah. That'll, uh, that'll do it for this one when we come back. I guess uh, we'll see about taking over some new castles. And maybe uh, dealing with those, uh, those Tradnor and Azuma armies that are sort of headed our way.